Looks like Director Sakaki is our official liaison between the branch and Friar. I guess that means it's up to us to handle all the personal relationships inside the branch. <laughs> we got this. Oh, yeah. Hey, dude, if you could do like one thing for me, don't don't be all formal. Yeah, calling me captain and stuff. It still sounds kind of weird. Let's keep it casual, all right? Like. Hey, Coda, what up? Awesome! That's mostly what I like to hear. Oh, hey, you down to grab some food after the mission? The restaurant here is top notch. That'll be my treat. So, what do you say we go smash these origami and get to the delicious part? God Eaters are in position. Watch for the enemy at all times. Operation Start! Commence operation! All time.
Kutsumi, would you make me two of the usual? Coming right up, Mr. Koda. You want it double size too? You know I do. I don't know if you know, but this girl right here is Mutsumi Chikura. She is more than just a chef. She is a miracle worker. We used to eat all this bland crap. Field safe rations and Finver made giant corn products. All that changed when Mutsumi arrived. Real quality comfort food, just like my mom's recipes. <laughs> flattery won't get you any extra, you know. It's not flattery, I'm serious. The restaurant's been way busier since you arrived. Everyone says so, really. They say it's like eating at home again. <laughs> That's sweet, Mr. Koda. Maybe you'll get a little extra after all. Here you go. Sorry for the wait, but I really hope you like it. Oh, sweet, it's ready! Chow o'clock! Oh my gosh! It's so good, right? Right? It's so tempting, but I gotta hold back. Just a bit. I'm still trying to hit my goal weight. The Far East is full of awesome local secret kind of stuff, just like Mutsumi's cooking. You're new, but I want you to see it all. So I'm gonna make it my personal quest to show you the wonders of the Far East. So, uh... Blood is an elite unit, right? They're trained on Friar. Hmm... But you're super strong, right? Even stronger than the rest of Blood is. Hmm... Well, in that last battle you were in, I was watching. You're incredible. Um, thanks for today. Thank you for taking me out to fight with you today. I said thank you for taking me out with you. Jeez, so dumb. I guess Emil and I argue and Captain Coda gets mad. Maybe that's why he had me go with you. I do try not to get mad when Emil says stupid things, but he always says stupid things. And I guess it's not just Emil. I'm kind of mean to Captain Coda, too. I guess. But he can be a wuss! And I just keep going until he gets really angry and he yells at me. You think so? I guess so. What I mean to say is, I guess I, um, I think I could really learn a lot from you and how you fight and that sounds dumb. Of course I will. I totally will. You'll be surprised. I'm really good. But hey, there's nothing wrong with failure. It's what comes after. If you refuse to give up, eventually you will succeed. Everyone's there to support each other. And one way or another, we manage to get by. It's a pretty amazing thing. Don't you think, Gil? Gil, you... You know you have to finish it. Please, Gil. I, I'm begging you. Do it. Kill me. It's been ages since we had the time to grab a drink like this. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, far too long, Haru. So, what do you think of your new team? They're all right. I'm not so great at dealing with the kids, though. <laughs> Man, I never thought I'd hear that from you. Sounds like you're getting old, Gil. Uh, Haru... Uh... So, uh, how about your vice-captain? Seems a pretty interesting god-eater. Or so I hear. Eh? Yeah, seems really kind, you know? Though definitely a bit strange. Somehow manages to always stay positive. <sighs> that 
That sounds kind of like Kate. Everybody's best friend. Willing to take on any challenge. Yeah, that's true. I, uh... Well, one time I, I kind of lectured the kid a bit. Why'd you do that? You were always the same way with Kate. Didn't work then, either. Not that she'd ever listen to me. For all her bright smiles and positivity, she was definitely stubborn. I missed that about her. Everything will work out, Gil. Just keep looking forward. We've never had enough manpower here. That just means we all need to pitch in and do what we can. Gil, take a breath and really think about it. We're out there protecting people every day. <laughs> In a world like this, that means something. Kate, I won't just lay down and take this crap. The politicians give us nothing but excuses. We need God Eaters here in Glasgow just as much as the damn Far East. Hey, don't go bad-mouthing my home. <laughs> I wasn't. They need more arcs on the ground. Because of them, we can almost live our lives in peace. We're lucky. Maybe, but they're still wasting resources over there. What about the Aegis Project? It was a total disaster. That's true. It's too bad, really. It seemed like such a good plan, at the time. Those choices aren't meant for God Eaters, Gil. But hey, there's nothing wrong with failure. It's what comes after. If you refuse to give up, eventually you will succeed. We have a really good job. We're working hard to keep the innocents alive. And Fenrir's working hard to keep us alive. We should be proud. Everyone's there to support each other. And... One way or another, we managed to get by. It's a pretty amazing thing, don't you think, Gil? I... I'm just trying to look out for you. To protect you and Haru. And... Look... You're stubborn. Both of you are. If you refuse to retire and have a real life... At least I want you two to be happy together. Aww... You're really sweet sometimes, you know that? Uh, fine. I will talk to the director for you and see if we can get some more people. But look, you have to promise me, you will stay out of it. <sighs> fine. Fantastic! <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Gil. Hey, cheer up, all right? Let me see that beautiful smile. Dude, Gil, come on, bro. Don't be flirting with my lady. I'm laying right here. <laughs> Have some standards. Whoa, I'm not. Tell her, not me. I'm just... It really makes me wonder sometimes. Why the best of us have to fall so young? Haru. Back then... I... Uh-uh. No, no, stop. Right there. No more about the past. You know what Kate would say. Keep looking forward. Isn't that right, Gil? Yeah. How you doing, Vice Captain? Mind if I take a seat? Relax, I'm not gonna hit on a guy. Most days. Gil told me what happened during the mission out in the wastes. About the red rain and you jumping into a beat up God Ark soldier to go save your friend? It's crazy. <laughs> you take everything in stride. That's nice. Look, I. I came to talk about Gil. 
I'm betting he hasn't said much about himself. Huh? Plus, I bet you're aching to know what happened back in Scotland. <laughs> Thought so. Now then, where to start? The Glasgow branch is small. I mean, like, tiny. There were only three God Eaters stationed there. Gil and I, of course. And the third was our team's captain. The name was Kate. Kate Lowry. She, uh... She was my fiance. There weren't a ton of origami attacks out there. So the three of us managed just fine most days. A routine mission came up on the board and... Well, it should have been routine. I'm gonna be straight with you. This is about to get kind of heavy. Do you want me to keep going? Okay, well... During that operation, Gil was forced into a really bad position. He... He had to kill Kate. There was no other option. He was found not guilty at the tribunal, but... People still talk, you know? That's where he got his little nickname. Fragging Gil. Cowards. As if any of them had the right to call him that. As if they had the right to blame him. Anyways... Back to the story. We played the fight like normal. Kate and Gil paired up as the advance and I circled around a flank. That's... when it appeared.
Mist? Kate! I'm so sorry. It's too... too corroded. It's almost dust, Gil. The origami infection has already begun. I can feel it. Gil... You... You know you have to... do it. I won't! We... we can still get back. I, I don't... I don't think so. Gil... I'm sorry. You have to tell him. Look... No... Don't make me... I'm sorry. I know I'm, I'm just being selfish. I never meant to, meant to leave you. You have to do this, Gil. I don't want to hurt you. I won't let myself hurt you. Please, Gil. I, I'm begging you. Do it. C kill me. I made it there. It was too late. Kate was already long gone. Blood stained the ground. The fabric of her clothes crushed deep into the dirt and the stone. Gil was clutching her armlet to his chest. He, he wouldn't look at me and he, he was crying. Sorry to be so dark. <sighs> That's enough for today, yeah? You're a good listener, you know? With such a serious look, it's easy to open up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Gil can see that honesty in your eyes. You know? Maybe. It even reminds him of Kate. Well, enough of that, right? Today was pretty good. Let's have another drink sometime. See ya. So you fall down, now I see